As the Boy Scouts of America makes its historic transition into accepting boys and girls into their scouting programs, families are bound to have a lot of questions about what's coming up and how to incorporate girls into the program. So for our scouting families, we wanted to break down the top 10 questions and common misunderstandings. First up, will the program for girls be different than the current one? No, girls will be following the exact curriculum that boys use now. That means girls will also have the same requirements for ranks, merit badges, and the opportunity to become an Eagle Scout. Next up, is the program going to be co-ed? No, because boys and girls develop at different paces, all dens and troops will be single gender. In Cub Scouts, girls and boys will be in an all-boy or all-girl den. In Scouts BSA, boys will form an all-boy troop while girls will form an all-girl troop. Cub Scout packs, meanwhile, can include any combination of all-boy or all-girl dens. Number three, is there going to be a different name? Kind of. The Boy Scout program name will change to Scouts BSA, which builds on the legacy of the original name. Scouts BSA will apply to both male and female troops. One scouting program, so one scouting name. The organization name, Boy Scouts of America, will stay the same. And next up, are there going to be new uniforms for girls? Yes. While the girls' uniforms will be fundamentally the same, they'll have a different fit and styling. Question five, how will girls fit into existing packs? For more information on how to incorporate new all-girl dens into an existing pack or form a new all-girl troop, a unit commissioner or district executive will be your go-to. How will families know if a pack is accepting girls? BeASCOUT.org will help to identify which packs are currently welcoming girls. The unit pin will have an indicator like this one if it is accepting girls. So, how quickly will the full program be rolled out? Scouts BSA will not be having a soft launch. As of right now, family scouting for Cub Scouts is in full effect. Then, starting in February of 2019, the full Scouts BSA programs will be implemented. In the meantime, families are encouraged to contact their local councils to connect with others looking to form new dens and troops. Up to question eight, talking logistics. How will camps and other facilities accommodate women and girls? The Boy Scouts have actually been serving young women for decades in various programs. So our camps already have the facilities in place. We are currently evaluating every aspect of our camping operations in an effort to accommodate every scout this summer and in 2019. Next up, can an adult male lead an all-girl unit? Yes, each troop or den, male or female, must have two adult leaders over the age of 21. BSA is adding to the current rule that each all-girl troop or den must have at least one of their leaders be female and over the age of 21. Question 10, will boys and girls be working together at all? Maybe. Troops and dens are single gender. However, if appropriate, this situation can be treated the same as two dens or troops of the same gender working together. It will be up to the good judgment of leaders to decide what is best for their units. And finally, a bonus question and the biggest question of all. Why make the program available to girls? Well, there's lots of girls actually already attending activities with their brothers. It's not a surprise that families are really busy and don't have a lot of free time together. This inclusion can be an experience that you can now enjoy as a family. To learn more about family scouting or to register, visit BeASCOUT.org and don't forget to scout me in.